Welcome back to another edition of the Air Gun Advisor. And today in front of us, we have coming in at just 5.6 pounds with a total length of 32 inches and a 10 and a half inch shrouded and silenced barrel shooting 22 caliber pellets. And this thing can fit in a rucksack. We have coming straight to you from the United States of America. Go ahead, give it a big thumbs up down below for the ultimate critter getter in 2022, the American Air Arms Evol 22 Mini. Guys, where do I even begin with this? So, you know, for starters, I wanna give you a little bit of taste of accuracy. I'm gonna cut real quick to some fun that I had plinking down at the range with the Evol Mini. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, got this thing dialed in. We're having some fun down here with the Evol Mini in 22. Uh, not a lot I can say about this that's going to change your mind if you're looking at getting one because this thing is really shooting well, and I'm very, very pleased with how it is shooting. Before I get into shooting some groups, though, I want to have some fun. I got some fun targets out there. We're going to do a little hunting. These guys might be out of season, but who cares? We're out here having fun at the range. Let's see, where are we? There's the wind. You can see how much wind I'm dealing with today. Let's see, is that an anteater, I think? I think it is. Boom, anteater gone. Oh man, panda bear. Panda bear at 12 o'clock, here we go. Boom, man, sent him flying. All right, here we go. Oh, what else we got? Oh, there's a cheetah. Did you guys know that cheetahs are native to Ohio? Gone. And let's go moose hunting. All you Mainers, anyone from Maine out there? Hit the like button if you're from Maine. Here we go. Oh, missed him right over the rump. Oh, he's not, he's going down this time though. He's going down. Boom! You guys saw him fly. Boom, smallest spinner. All right, we gotta end this shooting session. Having some fun, Firebird target. There it is. Ready for something to go boom? I know I am. Let's do this. Boom! Nice! That is a lot of fun. All right, I guess we've had as much fun as we can. Let's go shoot some groups. I'm gonna go fill up the PCP, fill up the Evol Mini in 22. Get a nice uh, fresh fill on there, get some new pellets in the magazine, and we're going to shoot a group for you guys down there at 50 yards. Let's go have some fun. Now, what did you guys think of that? It's way too much fun if you ask me. So let's go ahead. You've seen a little bit. You got a little taste of it. Let's dig into a few more of the features um, and do some chronograph testing, trigger testing, and then finally, yes, what you all really, really want to see, some accuracy testing at 50 yards. Guys, this thing, first and foremost, is known as the Evol 22 Mini and has a ambidextrous safety right here, which absolutely love it. I think that this safety in general has been one of the best features and well-placed features here. It goes on both sides, uh, slides straight up and down, so very, very nice. Uh, also, the grip is an AR-15 compatible grip. Very, very smooth, heavy duty side cocking lever arm here. Biathlon style lever right here, for, so you can easy to grab hold of. You got the Picatinny rail down here. You've got the uh, Picatinny rail up top for the scope. You got 50 MOA that is machined into that scope rail, as well as a very, very nice aluminum metal, all metal. 22 caliber, 11 shot magazine. Guys, this thing straight up out of the box is a beautiful, well shooting gun. And one of my favorite features, if you guys watch the Airgun Advisor or even watch some of my reviews over on American Air Gunner, you will know that I hate fill probes and check this out. Evol Mini 22 comes with a quick disconnect right on the side of the tube. How about that? Imagine that guys as well as you have your manometer for your fill pressure. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you got your regulator pressure down there. So guys, there is a ton of awesome features here. And the trigger, we'll talk about that trigger here in a little bit, is probably one of my favorite features other than that safety. So 
So where do we go from there? For some of you guys who are just starting to get into air guns, I want to point out that you do have a attached moderator here to help with the sound. Now that is something that typically I'm not a big fan of. Something that I really like is being able to put any moderator that I want just for style. But this one's kind of nice. If you unscrew the moderator, and this is all aluminum shroud, and it is heavy duty beefy. Matter of fact, if you watch um, Dana Webb on his channel, he's actually taken this exact, well not this exact one, but the Evol Mini 22 and tossed it off a freaking cliff and it still worked. Not to mention dragged it through mud. Now, so on this moderator, I don't know if I can get this out. There we go, we can get that out. This is the internal baffling system. And I want you to look at it. For those of you who are new to air gunning or just the air gun technology in general, you have what's called air strippers built in. And that means as the pellet passes through here, it is stripping the air away. And I see the pellet's gonna fly through this hole and all that excess air that is pushing and causing turbulence around the pellet is being stripped away. So when it exits the barrel, it exits the moderator down here, it is floating or shooting through straight, uninterrupted, uh, ambient air outside. So whatever is going outside will affect the pellet, of course, but it's not going to be affected as much by any of the air that is pushing that pellet out because you're stripping away all that excess air. And that's a feature that I really, really like. And uh, because of that, and because I can see that in here, you know, I'm not, not in the least bit upset about them including a moderator on this gun from the factory. So very, very nice uh, feature, as well as I love how just stable this gun is. I mean, it is, it's a, it's a rock, it's a tank, man. It is not going anywhere. And one of the things that I did add to this for my personal preference, I added, look at this, a folding stock. Guys, that is something, you take that off. Let's go ahead and take off the um, bipod here so you can see how small this thing actually is. And this is something, even with a, a little smaller scope if you wanted to, you could just stick that right down into a backpack if you're out on a camping trip, out hunting, or even uh, you want to carry it in a bag or something like that for uh, while you're out hunting. That way uh, you get to your spot, you can pull it out, and you're ready to go. Very, very nice and slick setup here. So let's go ahead and get this bipod back on here. We'll get it set up and we'll talk about some of the other features here in just a second. So all of those features are great. But if the trigger stinks, it can't be the ultimate critter getter if the trigger stinks. So let's go ahead, let's get some testing done on this trigger. And uh, as you watch the testing being done, you'll notice that the trigger is extremely consistent. Matter of fact, it's one of the most consistent triggers that I have tested in recent history. Um, and being built so tough, you kind of wonder, you know, like, is it going to be a, a hard pulling trigger? And really, it's almost like a work of art in the fact it's like jewelry. Um, and it feels very, very solid, but very, very crisp. And they say that coming from the factory, it's going to come into 8 to 10 ounces of pull. Now, this particular Evol Mini did not come from the factory with 8 to 10 ounces of pull. Matter of fact, on an average of 5, so I always try to do an average of 5 because you may get a little messy here and there. I had 5.1 ounces of, of trigger pull, and that's out of an average of five. And that is crazy. I mean, that, first of all, beats what the factory is saying. And to talk about a glass trigger and not needing any adjustment, in my point of view, out of the box, is awesome. And it's not one of those triggers where you feel like, it's like just on the cusp of breaking every time that you touch it. I mean, when I say break, I mean, you know, clicking and firing that shot. It just has a good wall to it. And it doesn't, it feels like 5.1 ounces, but at the same time, it's such a strong wall. It feels like it's, it's more, but it's not. Um, I don't know if I'm describing that well. You really have to try it. And if you haven't tried the Evol Mini or, or an Evol brand of air gun before from American Air Arms, it's something that you need to try because it is, it's a work of art as far as a trigger goes. And I am very impressed with the, well, with the accuracy of the gun, but also with how it feels. It is, it is a competition trigger wrapped up into a, 
really nice hunting platform. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and throw, uh, do, throw some chronograph numbers at you quickly here. So the chronograph numbers that we're looking at here, first of all, we're shooting a 22 caliber pellet, JSBs, factory regulators installed. Um, and I was able to get 44 shots off on this little cylinder here. Now, that's four magazines worth of pellets. Now the best consistency came with the first three magazines and you, there was a drop at the end of those 44 shots. So they're usable, but they're not gonna be like your most consistent shots at the end of that string. So we were shooting the 18.33 grain JSB pellets for an average of 852 feet per second. And that in this little package is over 29 foot pounds of energy. And that is way more than enough to go squirrel hunting with, coon hunting, uh, rabbit hunting, any of those kinds of small games. This is a perfect air gun for that. Uh, it's really kind of a, a great survival air gun too if you are into trying to find different methods of you know, protecting yourself in the future for that, you know, that crap hits the fan type of moment. Um, this could be a pretty good option for you just because of how solid it is, how, I mean, straightforward the build is, and then uh, how easy it would be to hand pump this little cylinder up. So a lot of neat features, a lot of good features, and a very well thought out air gun here uh, that you can even modify for your own liking as well. So before we hit the range, I do want to put a little side note out there. I had the best shooting consistency and accuracy out of this air gun at 3,500 PSI. The cylinder itself holds 4,000 PSI. It's 135, or yeah, 135 cc of compressed air inside of this small cylinder. So it's good for hand pumping if you're a hand pumping kind of guy, although I, I steer away from it if, unless it's a necessity. Um, but it's a great little hunting platform and surprising amount of shots for this. So I'm pretty sure covered a lot of the features and I covered them pretty quickly here because I know that you know time is of the essence in a lot of these videos so that means without further ado guys it's time for us to take this air gun out to the range and see what it's going to do and uh, so you saw some plinking fun now let's head back out to the range and get some exact accuracy out of the Evol Mini in 22 caliber. All right now we've had their fun we're going to go down and shoot some groups now 50 yards uh, the wind's still crazy down there, blowing from, uh, well, from my right to the left. I've been very pleased with how this air gun has been shooting. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to vote for it for one of, I'm going to say there's probably three out there. I'm going to say this is probably one of the three best truck guns you could purchase. It's solid, well built. It's just a monster. If you're going to try to destroy it, it's not going to happen. My friend over at Mountain Sport Air Guns has thrown it off a cliff, dragged it through mud, everything and it survived so and it survived and still able to shoot accurately after it was clean so can't beat that let's go ahead and see what kind of groups we can get today with this weather there's the flag all right here we go nice clean sheet what do you say i'm gonna zoom out just a hair I can see that flag. There it is. I don't know. Do we wait for the flag or we just see what it can do in the wind? I'm kind of impatient. I'm going to go ahead and see what we can do in the wind. And if that's the case, zoom right on in. We got first focal plane. Everything stays right where it's supposed to be. Oh, man. Some wind, too. Look at that. Almost hole on hole. Woo! Three shots right there. Nice little clover leaf. Oh, moved it just a hair. You can probably see it in the film. Boom! You saw the first group that I did, but I want to show you that you can do it again. So I got a fresh peach of paper out there, 50 yards, nice breeze, nice fill in the tank. I'm finding that the fill uh, for me at 3,400, 3,500, starting my fill there is where I get my best results. Uh, I'm using the 22 caliber 
exact jumbo Diablo pellets in 15.89 grains. You see those things right there? All right, so those are those are what I'm finding at best. Got 11 shot magazine, 50, 52 yards down there. Pretty stiff breeze, but we're gonna go give it a shot again anyway, just so you can see exactly how accurate this gun is. You know it's time to pull the trigger and see what we got. Let's see, where are we at 50? There we go. 50 yards, look at that. That thing is moving. I don't know, we might wanna wait for it to stop for a second, or at least slow down, holy cow. Let's go with it. The test must go on. We're going to go down here at the bottom target this time. You can even see the target board moving. You know, let's just shoot one for... Alright, there we go. Get things rocking and rolling. One, two, you can tell the wind's doing different things out there. Three. Four. I hate it when you get to this point. This is like you've done everything perfect and you're just gonna mess one up. Five. Not bad at all. Five shots. Evil mini. 22 caliber what's not to like about that guys probably one of the best truck guns you will ever find in air guns at least it's on the market today guys absolutely love it hey until next time make sure that trigger pull stays smooth those pellets fly straight you know what we're going to see you right here on the air gun advisor Woo. let's go for that small one there boom Work our way right on up. Boom! All right, see, now this should be the easy one. Boom! Three shots, 50, 50 yards. Man. Hey, big shout out to Target Forge for those spinners, man. Those things are slick. And they've been out here for well over, well over a year at this point. And lots of air gunners have been destroying them. But ain't gonna happen. Well, air gunners, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed the accuracy and see the same type of potential that I see out of this air gun. This is an air gun that's going to cost you a little bit of money, but man, does it pay dividends in the end. And I absolutely love it. Hey guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help that subscriber count climb. And uh, of course, as always, give the video a big thumbs up, leave your comments down below. And of course, until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets fly straight. And we'll see you right here on the Aragon Advisor.